we are driving to the source of the Yellow River. This is Ben Cubbage from Elevated Trips, elevatedtrips.com, and I will be the first foreigner to enter this uh, Yellow River National Park, or what is part of a larger national park called Sanjiang Yuan, or the Three Rivers National Park. I'll be the first foreigner to enter this area in the last two years. China's been making it a national park and it has been closed uh, for tourism recently, in the last two years, but now I get to enter Sanjiang Yuan. We're on our way driving there, and uh, we're driving from Xining, just drive through Tongda, where these beautiful red rock mountains, these Densha cliffs, right around 3,800 meters. And this is going to be a great trip. Okay, folks, this is Huashusha. It's a super dumpy little truck stop town. It's literally one street that's about 150 meters long. It's basically just a gas station off the exit from Xining to Yushu. It's about halfway from the 800 kilometers that you'll drive from Xining to Yushu. There's really no reason to stop here except uh, this is kind of the, the main intersection to Amimachin. So if you're going to Amimachin or Machin or Tongdo or um, basically going west from here, this is kind of the place you turn off. And that's probably the only reason why this town exists is because it's basically a gas station with a couple of little dumpy restaurants. So we just got here tonight after a long day of about 12 hours of driving past Amimachin and they just told us no foreigners can stay in this town. So I gotta head another hour south to Madua. You can see the sign right here, Madua, on the sign. So we're going to Madua. Madua is fine for foreigners. They got plenty of three, and even maybe three and a half star hotels for foreigners. That's fine. But Huashusha is a no-go. So we are traveling on our way, and we gotta travel back to Madua, and then back to Huashusha tomorrow. So a little bit of a detour, but that's how it is. Sometimes foreigners traveling Western China there's not foreign registered hotels here. So just FYI, if you are traveling here, do not stop and wash your shot. There's nothing here for you and there's no place for you to stay if you're a foreigner. Good morning. We just left. Huashusha town, the dumpy little truck stop town, 4,200 meters. We are heading west today on this bumpy dirt road to this beautiful high altitude lake called Dongatsana. Dongatsana is a high altitude lake. Uh, most uh, travelers, even Chinese tourists, don't, don't get out there. Uh, but what's significant about it is it has a small population of snow leopards around it. It also has uh, wild ass. Uh, Tibetan brown bear and Tibetan fox, along with some Tibetan antelope and blue sheep and white-lipped deer. So the wildlife viewing can be quite incredible. And of course the lake itself is quite stunning as it's high altitude lake under these big bright blue skies. So the Gobi Desert sandstorm has, has gone away and uh, the sun has come back out and we're happy to be traveling today. We're on the road, I'll probably be another two to three hours drive to Dongatsana Lake. is all get out. We're at 4,100 meters and right behind us is Dongon Suono, which means, Suo means uh, lake and Na means black. So it's like Donggua Black Lake. This is probably about 25% of the area of Qinghai Lake, but I think it's a much more beautiful lake than Qinghai Lake here in western China on the Tibetan Plateau. It's frozen over right now. It's windy, blue skies. And right behind us are these mountains and there's a population of about 15 Tibetan brown bear that live in these mountains as well as snow leopards. Uh, we've been seeing wild ass Tibetan fox. We saw a wolf right, run right in front of our car today. Uh, this is just full of rich, wild, high altitude 
wildlife. This is really fun. here and right behind me is a herd of about 50 uh, blue sheep. Uh, that's roughly what we would call uh, bighorn sheep uh, but these are wild herd roaming here and grazing the grasses in March. Of course there's not much grass here in March but uh, by April, May it should start to get a little bit greener. Right in the north, in the middle, 
Dongwa Tswana Lake. These beautiful red rock formations. They have these deep pocketed cliffs. We just saw a Himalayan griffin nesting there and feeding her babies. And it just feels like something from another world, maybe from Mars or from some alien planet or something. But this is absolutely stunning. So behind me is a really special rock here. Uh, it doesn't look very interesting, but uh, this is actually the site of a Stella camera trap. And, uh, you can see the camera trap right there. There's a camera. It's camouflaged in the middle of rocks. And uh, it's hard to see, but there's actually spots on this rock where the snow leopard has urinated. And uh, there's actually even scratchings and paw marks where the snow leopard has come. So in this valley here, there are snow leopards in Qinghai. See the urination workings there. And then there's some scratching here. And here is a big paw print. And there's some other paw prints. You can see where it's been scratching under the rocks there as well. In the very corner. And here is the camera truck that we just set up, which will be taking pictures of snow leopards as they come up.